Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new in today's video it is my pits and peaks of the week so in this video I talk about what didn't go so well for the week being my pits for the week and what went better this week being my peaks for the week so we will get straight into it with the pits like we always do so that we can end on high with the peaks so I don't really have many things to say about this week it just hasn't gone to plan as I'd hoped um, so I will try and keep it very short and sweet so if you have watched my last pits and peaks video I showed a sort of template I'll leave it here so you can see it showed a template of what I planned on doing for the week I was hoping for at least two sessions of a run so two runs and two gym sessions if I could manage to fit in three I would have been happy with that um, but two at most I was going to be happy with so um, yeah, that was my plan for the week. Uh, that didn't go at all to plan. I did one run, which I don't really want a class as a run really, and a gym session. The gym session I'll talk about in my peaks because I was actually really happy with that, but my run, not so much. So I've been, I, I know I said in my last video that I was sort of struggling to get out of the rut of motivation. I think that's still sort of clinging on for dear life this week um, and that's one of the reasons why I've sort of struggled with um, sticking to the schedule that I had planned. I sort of hoped that having the schedule there would uh, encourage me to do the things that I wanted to do planned. Um, however that wasn't the case so I'm just going to sort of write it off training wise with regards to exercise. Um, so I did one run if I can even call it that. That was on Thursday or Friday. I'd got on the treadmill because I didn't really fancy going outside and it was in the evening. I was going to get on the treadmill and sort of run uh, hopefully a 5k before Philip got back and I would then sort of cook dinner for the evening and I ended up getting a phone call midway through the run. So I sort of hopped off with the intention of getting back on. However, the phone call just went a bit longer than I expected. So I ended up not getting back on the treadmill. So I ended up doing like a mile run, something like that. So I think it was about 15 minute run. So I guess it's a run, but it's not as much as I wanted to. So I'm classing that as sort of a pit for this week, especially when I wanted to get like two or three runs in this week and I only managed like a mile run so yeah not great. Yeah other than that the only other exercise that I did was obviously my 10k steps which I'm still doing um, however again with that I'll bring that sort of into a pit is that I have been leaving the majority of my steps till the evening and I've either sort of had to hop on the treadmill which I haven't been too excited to do or I've done a bit of like walking on the spot, which is not ideal. Um, I think I still need to sort of get out in the fresh air and get my steps up or do like a, a walk in the morning if I'm intending to do like a gym session in the gym at lunchtime, just so I sort of get the majority of my steps out of the way before it's left till really late at night when we're considering going to bed and I'm still trying to get steps in. So I need to sort of get most of my steps out of the way earlier in the day so I'm going to class that as a pit that I am leaving my steps way too late in the evening and I'm just super tired so yeah they are my sort of pits for the week just not getting in the planned exercise that I wanted to do this week so not ideal we will move on to the peaks which again I don't really have too much to sort of say on that I did an upper body day for the gym guide on let's just have a look on Monday that was an upper body day and I actually really enjoyed that workout it was super tough because I haven't done sort of consistent gym workouts in a while but I really wanted to push myself with the strong guide I did some heavier weights I really sort of felt it but I knew that I got a good workout out of it so I am classing that as a peak even though I didn't do my three sort of planned gym sessions for this week I did get one so that's at least something and I really enjoyed it so yeah, that can be my sort of peak. Um, my second peak is that for most of the week I've been on track. Um, I will leave a NutriCheck 7 day view screenshot here so you can see it. But uh, if I have a look it shows that I was off track on three days 
um, Saturday and Sunday, so the weekend, I am classing those as off-track days. The Thursday has a cross because I'm 135 calories over. As I mentioned in my last video, I don't really like to count anything sort of under like 150 calories as being really that off track and I had mentioned that I was sort of struggling with the lower amount of calories that NutriTrack had given me and I am still finding that I am feeling it r r like really hard to sort of stick to that calorie goal so I may bump that back up. I'm only trying to keep it lower so that it encourages me to sort of eat less uh, but it does mean that sometimes if I eat a, a, another 100 calories which would have been sort of si nearly 1600 that would have been an, off, an on track day for me um, but it, it doesn't show us that so yeah Saturday and Sunday I sort of expected those to be off track days I am planning on getting completely back on track on Monday so tomorrow um, yesterday Philip has been craving Nando's all week so we travel to Rushton Lakes which is in sort of near Northampton uh, that's our nearest Nando's so we traveled there and had Nando's and just sort of had a look round we did get a dessert afterwards from Patisserie Valerie as well so I sort of expected that to be an off-track day and that was fine that has sort of led on to today but that's just because I didn't make as good choices with sort of my lunch and things like that I had a sort of baguette sandwich and didn't realise that there was that many calories in them uh, and obviously we had cake as well from our like, local cake shop I'll leave a picture here so you can see the sort of cakes that we get from our local cake shop they are really really good and because we hadn't had one this week or I don't think we had one I don't think we had one last week either so we sort of wanted to grab one this week so yeah Saturday and Sunday have been off track days I'm counting them as fully off track days if I compare that to my exercise view, which I'll then swap over to, it says that my two off-track days are Saturday and Sunday. The Thursday where I was over was sort of covered by the run that I did. Um, so it brings me into a tick. So for sort of Monday to Friday, it's been fine. And then Saturday and Sunday is off. And I'm happy with that. I don't really feel any sort of guilt around off days or anything like that, which I'm counting as a peak as well. I used to sort of either go wildly off track after an off track sort of weekend or I would feel really really guilty for eating off track or not having things that were within my calories and don't feel that anymore. At the end of the day this is sort of a lifestyle, lifestyle change, I have to make these sort of changes fit in with what I do day to day and I'm not the sort of person that will restrict anything if I want it and I don't think that's the right way to go about it anyway if I sort of want a slice of cake or we want to go out for a evening meal or anything like that I will do that I'm not sort of going to jeopardize experiences and having a good time over my want to lose weight so yeah I just sort of take it as it is and it ends up just being that one off track day or two off track days in my case and then get back on track so yeah Monday is a fresh start again so I intend on being on track. I will probably keep my calories the same as they are at the moment at 1500 just so it doesn't entice me to sort of go over that extra hundred that I haven't been eating this week so yeah. We'll just see how it goes for now. If I continue to sort of be over during the week and I sort of see red crosses all the time, I may be tempted to bump it back up. But for now, it's encouraging me to eat that little bit less. So we will keep it at that. I think that's sort of it for pits and peaks. So plan for next week is going to be the same as this week. So I'll inc include the sort of screenshot of my uh, exercise sort of routine that I want to do next week. It was the same as last week. I'm just going to try and get that done this week. Uh, hoping again for three runs and three gym sessions, but I would be happy with two of each given that I've only done one of each this week. So yeah, it's just about finding that consistency. I'm still trying to sort of find my feet and get the motivation after that little break that I had. So no more excuses. I'm just gonna just get on with it next week. So uh, I will make things fit. So yeah.
that's all I can really say so I will end the video here so if you like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel you can always click the notification bell down below and you will be notified of when my new videos go live you can also use the comment section down below if you have any questions that you have about my journey I know there's been a few new subscribers lately so if any of you have any sort of questions about my journey about weight loss anything like that leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them um, other than that I hope you're all staying safe and well I hope you all have a good week weekend whenever it is that you're watching this and I will see you again in my next video bye